Hey, did you know that 3.8 million personal records are released every single day and about 30,000 websites are breached daily? You probably didn't. And also, did you know that your information is probably out there and your passwords are out there, your cell phone, your address, your age, all that fun stuff is on the internet? And you might be very cautious with where you type in your password. You might think, oh, this website's secure. This is LinkedIn or this is Facebook or MySpace. It's not. So that's what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to teach you guys how to check if your accounts have been breached and what information can you find online just by searching your name? Let's get into it. All right, so the first website that we wanna go on is haveibeenpwned.com and I have it open on my display here. So let's just type in our email address. And there we go. I have 30 data breaches that my email address is in and let's take a look at some of them. We have a web hosting address or a web hosting account. Uh, 2,844 separate data breaches, eight tracks, Adobe, Canva, Dailymotion, Dropbox, uh, Dub Smash, what's Dub Smash? Oh, whatever, they had a data breach. Epic Bot, uh, House, Junkin Media or Junkin, whatever, LinkedIn. Oh, what else? Mathway, MySpace, Tumblr, Twitter, XSplit. So, a lot of data breaches. If you go on this website, type in your email, and you find out that you've been in a lot of breaches also, maybe it's time to change out your password as a precaution. You might be saving yourself a lot of headaches later on. Okay, we know that our password is compromised, our email address is compromised, which is probably why you're getting so much spam in your personal email, and it's probably time to delete some of them. But what happens if we know, you know, first name, last name, and the city that we're from? Well, this part gets a little scary. Let's take a look. So we wanna go on people, searchpeoplefree.com. All right, very simple website. Let's type in our first name, last name, and the city that we're from. There it is. I blurred everything out because I would prefer to have this information readily available if you want to stalk me, which I hope you don't, but blurred out because I don't want it on YouTube. And just a disclaimer, all this is informational. I do not condone someone going and hacking or stalking people unethically. Uh, if you are doing this for ethical purposes or for research purposes, then that's great. Um, don't be a jerk. So what's on here? And I encourage you guys to go and do this yourself too. So we have our full name, the city that we're from, our age, our home address, our previous home address, and then my parents' address, my cell phone, my work cell phone, and then my brother and my parents' names, and then people that I might be associated with, which honestly, I only know a few of them. Okay, so why am I telling you all this? Well, two reasons. One, I want you to be educated. I want you to know what information is out there that belongs to you, that's private. And two, I wanna introduce you to the world of OSINT, open source intelligence. Uh, it is basically finding information that is readily available on the internet that you might think is private. Uh, if you have no idea what OSINT is, I recommend that you subscribe. I'm planning on putting a good amount of videos about it. Uh, but also, if you're on TikTok, look up Jose Monkey and that's gonna just explain everything to you and how awesome this topic is. Well, that's actually it for my video. I just want to educate you guys a little bit. Uh, if you knew all this already, great. If you didn't, consider giving me a like and if you wanna learn more about this stuff, maybe subscribe. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.